Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Nice Guy 28431 checking in from a long week. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I've not been here. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, private messages and emails and uh, just people asking me what's going on, what's wrong. Because they knew, they knew something was up from my, my video from the five optim awesome optimists. And I really wasn't feeling I like even doing that, but I knew I had to do something, and so I just sang the song, and uh, that was hard enough on its own. But um, I think uh, time has, has went by. I think, it, but it's still a little bit uh, tender to talk about, sensitive. Uh, but I'm going to try to anyway. This is like my eighth, or ninth video that I've had to restart. <laughs> so bear with me, please. Last Saturday, which was April the 18th, um, me, Joni, and the boy were planning to go out to eat with some friends. So we went up to our friend's house waiting on them, and we are all going to ride in my minivan. And while we was waiting on them, I got a call on my cell phone from our youth director. And for for you, for those who don't know, I... I teach a youth class at my church, a junior league class, which is 5th graders through 8th graders. And um, I think I've got 10 or 11 in my class, which is a wonderful little class. And there's other classes out there, but mine I love. I really do. They're just the right age, and um, they, they tend to listen and, and have fun. So anyway, the youth director called me, and I says, hey. And he says, I said, what's up? He says, um... I got word that one of your uh, kids, Daniel Sykes, has been in an um, accident. And I says, really? I says, how bad? He says, what I've heard is pretty bad. And I says, do you know anything else? And he says, no. I says, well, call me back the minute you find out something, please. He says he would. And so we went on to the restaurant and I ordered and I was sitting at the table with my friends and and the phone rang and I answered it and it was uh, him again and he says Shannon it's bad he said that um, um, Daniel and his brother and another fella had been killed in a car accident And uh, he didn't know nothing else. He just knew, and he said that that's all he knew, really. And I says, okay. And I, it, it it struck me hard. And um, we had we have a, a little thing where we text our youth to pray about different matters, and we had text them to pray for the family there. Just pray for Daniel's family and. Um, not wanting to get into details what happened, and some had called me and said they'd heard what had happened and was it true, and and I had to tell them yes, and they broke down on the phone a couple of them, and and uh, um, I had to help them handle that, and with me it was still about the same way, so we just cried together, and. Um, you have to excuse me, my nose runs when I get a little upset. But we, um, next day we went to church that morning and everybody was so upset at, at, at the church, especially our youth. And, um, we were there, were there with them and, and our pastor, he'd done such a good job trying to counsel them and help them out. And everybody just pulled together in our county. It, as far as our county, they have really, you know, suffered with this as well because a lot of them knew, knew them. So, and after church, I went to um, see Miss Pamela, which was the 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 mother of the two sons, her only sons, that had got killed the day before, and um. Let me before I do this. Let me tell you what happened. Um, they were on their way to the oldest son's wedding, 
inside the car was the groom, the best man, and the groomsman. And a drunk driver crossed the road and hit them head on going about 65 and killed all three. There was two in his car and three in theirs. And th those two were, didn't die. One went to the hospital with some, but they were nothing serious. Um, it threw little Daniel out of the car and in, into the into the canal and then the car went into the canal as well and all three died on impact. None of them were wearing seat belts but the, the trooper said that it wouldn't have done any good because the car was so destroyed. So uh, Sunday evening I went to see Miss Pamela and um and, because she had called me and wanted me to go see her. And um, I went and I says, How can I help you, Miss Pamela? And she said, Daniel, love to hear me sing. And he wanted, she wanted me to sing at his funeral. And I told her I would. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I would. So, visitation come Monday, and we went, I had been up there a couple of times, but we went for visitation, and um, I, we got there early, because I knew it was going to be a lot of people, and we still had to wait around an hour and a half in line, and somebody was telling me they waited two hours and 15 minutes, and two hours and 20 minutes in line. And uh, so there was a lot of people there. Really, there was a, a lot of people. And um, Tuesday was the funeral. And uh, we, I sung my songs. The first one I did fair with, I, I, you know, I didn't have no problems with. The second one was a little bit more emotional. And I cracked one time. And thank goodness it was at the ends of end of a line, and I could regain my composure because I don't want to break down in the middle of a song and not be able to sing it right for the family because that they didn't need that at that time. And we went um, after the funeral, and his his ball team was there, and they were all dressed in their ball uniforms and. Um, they had it at 3.30 so all the kids could go after school that wanted to go and the teachers. And there was the, the the whole chapel was packed out. It was it was completely full. And um the he was Daniel himself was dressed in his team jersey and then they had on the spray on the casket they had his number five and then they had ball his ball and glove And another jersey of his just laying up there with the flowers. And so we went to the cemetery after the funeral. And as soon as the funeral was over, the family had to leave and go to another funeral home where her other son was for visitation that night. And I, I, that's, I, can't, I can't imagine how hard that must be. But they uh, went there, and then the next day, they buried her other son right beside Daniel. So they buried the sons together. And um, the fiance, bless her heart, she's been through so much. And um, I'm going to put a link to the newspaper, our local newspaper, who's got some pictures and some articles about the wreck and some obituaries from from all three and um, but Daniel was a wonderful boy he was shy um, <laughs> he, 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 he had a wonderful sense of humor and he he loved life 
and he 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 loved friends, but he was so shy. And um, it was just him and his mom. It was a, a single mom family because her and her husband had separated, and um, he was just it was him and his mom at the house, and he uh, I would go and. I took him to the movies, and I'd take him out to eat, and us guys, and then others. One was taking fish, and and uh, just he had had many friends that that thought a lot of Daniel. So, uh, there there you go. Uh, I'm glad I finally got to do the video. I'm sorry that it took so long, but it's been hard, and it still is. It really it really is, and. But I really wanted to let you know what's going on. So I don't know when my next fit. Well, I know it'll probably be Wednesday with the five awesome optimists. I don't know yet. But I'm going to put the pictures on here. I probably already went through some of them. And, um, so there you go. All right. This has been long enough. Have yourself a nice day. And I'll talk at you later.